Hello, you're watching Hopeless Chatter, my name is Gary, and in this video you'll be seeing how I painted this Cocker Spaniel Witch Hunter from Oathsworn Miniatures game, Burrows and Badgers. If you like the video, please do leave a comment down below, leave a like, and, uh, you know, hopefully share it with your friends. Uh, in this video I also experiment for uh, first time properly with UV resin, so uh, let's see how that goes. I am using Citadel contrast paints mainly in this one. Uh, as always we start with a standard Mechanicus grey undercoat with uh, Wraithbone uh, spray down from top to create the highlighting and go straight into the fur with Nasdreg yellow. Although my girlfriend is convinced that this is green under some light so I'm not quite sure what she's on about because I can't see it myself. But uh, I do really like the contrast paints. Just need to remember to try and be as neat as possible because uh, going back over can be a nightmare. But that's just me. And uh, yes, uh, focusing issues will be sorted by the end of this video. I am trying to work stuff out. And there he is. Move into the inside of the coat and his scarf. Uh, I used Vulpus Pink because I wanted to try and have like a big contrast between the coat and the outside of the coat and the inside of the coat, which we'll see in a minute. I also really like this pink, if I'm honest. I think I need to use this one more. This will also be the last video where I will be using autofocus. I switched over to manual focus halfway through, and hopefully you should see a vast improvement. But uh, that's the Volpus Pink down. Moving on to the tunic, I used Pterodon Turquoise for this. My idea for this figure is, as he is obviously a witch hunter, um, I kind of thought he's not going to advertise he's on his way, so the, his coat, the outside of his coat would be very unassuming. Yet the moment he opened up ready to attack, I wanted him to be like, I'm here, get ready for this. Which I think comes across quite nicely. The outside of the coat, uh, I just used Black Templar. I put down two coats of this in the end just to try and make it quite a bit darker. And then I went over and touched up the areas with Corex White. Uh, basically the bits that um, were going to be another colour, but I didn't want any of the, of, of, for this point, the uh, Pterodon turquoise, turquoise to uh, interfere with it. So I basically touched up the leather straps, and I think there was a couple of bits on the ruffles. And of course the eyeball. I think my eyes are improving, so... Uh, Hopefully you'll agree by the end of this video. That's my psycho brush. Quite like small brushes. And then I went over the leather straps and his hat with uh, snake bite leather. Because why not? I kind of got stuck with the hat. I wasn't really sure how else to do it. I just figured he'd wear a leather hat. Didn't want to do too much black. I think this is the point with me and the uh, autofocus. Had a big falling out. But as you can see, it's coming along quite nicely. Uh, from that point, 
but uh, it was Lead Belcher using that on the uh, daggers and his belt buckles. I say the belt buckles on this were tiny, but uh, I found them in the end. But he's coming along quite nicely. And then I realised I hadn't actually done his snout. So, uh, <laughs> Black Templar for his nose again. Very careful not to get it all over the uh, rest of the face. And then I realised I should probably make the ruffles and his shirt the same colour, so I went back on for them with uh, Pterodon Turquoise again. And apparently uh, almost missed the camera entirely. I kind of figured that as he was a witch hunter, he would be entering a lot of buildings where there would be suspicious powders and aromas and smells. So I kind of wanted to give him a sort of red-eyed look. Um, he's he's seen some things and he's probably breathed in a lot of stuff he shouldn't have. I, I see this guy as a slightly older witch hunter, so he's he's done well. But is almost permanently red-eyed because of this. And that is Magos Purple. Should probably point that out one out. Magos Purple for the uh, the pu uh, the uh, the whites of the eyes. And then I kind of wanted his blades to look a little bit different, so they weren't just like a pure steel or iron metal look. Um, so I started off with a Kalian Green, thinking that it would look quite nice, and then sort of realised half about this point they just look like a shiny me blue metal I think I've said I've said before in other videos I like sort of the blue steel look but I just couldn't see it with this guy so then I went over with uh, Evandon yellow sorry I meant Egandon um, which kind of brought it out in this nice nice green which I reckon I could have done better but I wasn't going to play about with it too much because you can already see that uh, I painted over it before the blue was dry. While all this was, uh, while the paint was drying on the figure, I decided to start on the ground. Um, the base I textured with Milliput, or put Milliput down and then textured it. And now I'm going over it with Gore Grunter Fur Brown which I think leaves quite a nice ground effect. And while that was drying, I also painted around the base uh, with a bad and black. Um, I also got this pot of UV resin. I've played about with it on a couple of other things, but I figured I wanted to try and do something sort of watery. Uh, so I got the UV resin and then I got some Drakenhof Nightshade and mixed a little bit together. Now, I personally think I put too much of the uh, shade in, but it's alright. If you don't make mistakes, you don't grow. And then I sort of dripped it on. I tried pouring it and then realised I didn't have enough space to actually work, so I just used my texture tool to spoon it on. Now, I got this UV resin from Amazon. It's alright. I've not really got a lot of experience with uh, UV resins other than this one, but uh, from, from what I've used, it's pretty good. Spread it about a bit, and then got my UV torch. 
let it set. So now, in a minute, I make my first mistake. <laughs> well, actually, I make a pretty big mistake in a minute. It's about 60 seconds to set, is what it says on the side. Uh, so I then put the PVA glue on, got me uh, Serious Play Summer Grass. Kind of didn't check that the uh, the resin was uh, was dry enough to do this, and it was a little bit sticky. So after smothering the entire base in uh, grass, I then had to spend about an hour trying to flick off grass from the resin. Eventually it looked alright. I also glued a couple of coarse rocks on there. And then uh, went on for the eyeballs with my Psycho Brush and a bad and Black. I think it came out quite nice. Until I remembered the hat. Uh, so just put a little black band around the hat just to break up the brown. There we go. And there he is, the Cocker Spaniel Witch Hunter. I love painting these 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 miniatures. I love the Burrows and Badgers line. I love what Oathsworn miniatures do. Um, so to me, this was a an absolute joy to paint. I'll put a link down below if you want to pick up one of these guys yourself. Uh, they are quite inexpensive as well. But no, I think the water came out all right. I would probably, I think, for the next time, I'm going to sort of try and make the detail in the water. A bit more because at the minute it just looks like he's walking through a puddle which is kind of what I was going for but I, I I just I think I need to put more detail into that puddle I also need to sort out the lights in here I think but that was him that was a cocker spaniel witch hunter from uh, burrows and badgers thank you so much for watching if you enjoyed it like I said please do leave a like leave a comment down below subscribe to the channel if you want to see more so hopefully until next time I've been Gary I'll see you soon see ya